Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and start this video off with Kodak Black and Jada Weta. Now yes, if you guys don't already know, before it was Lil Baby and Jada Weta, before these two were in a relationship, it was Kodak Black and Jada Weta. Now I'm not gonna act like Kodak Black and Jada Weta were in this long-term relationship, but obviously these two had a situationship going on, they were talking or they were dating, or as Kodak Black would say in the now TikTok video that is now resurfacing, Jada Weta was his. Now, yes, you guys heard me right. There's this video of Kodak Black and Jada Weta speaking on the phone. This old video that has now resurfaced on TikTok and now is getting thousands and millions of views and people are talking about it. Who knows why this video is coming out now? But like I said, it is years old. Now, I wish I can post this TikTok right here on my channel, but because it has background music, unfortunately, guys, I can't. But you guys, can check it out on my instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end let me go ahead and explain to you guys what's going on in this video now obviously you guys can hear jada's voice she's on the phone with kodak black now what has happened is kodak black posted the picture of jada sitting on his lap on social media now, i guess jada just did not want that picture out on social media so she's on the phone telling kodak black to delete the picture he has her looking crazy and plus he was just posted up with another female that's the female that you guys see in this tiktok video with the blonde hair i know some of you guys are going to say the one with the blonde hair that's not jada Weta. but as you guys can see the picture before that was jada but jada is telling kodak black you were just posted up with another girl delete that picture of you and me now kodak black is doing everything else but trying to delete that picture he's telling jada Weta, i miss you and jada is just like delete the the picture kodak black then goes to say no jada i'm not deleting the picture everybody needs to know that you are mine and not too long after that kodak black decides to hang up the phone and jada gets completely frustrated now like i said this tiktok or this video per se of kodak black and jada on the phone it is completely old it's years old like i said it's before little baby and jada got together before they even met so you guys can only imagine how many years old this this video is but honestly i think it's funny that it's resurfacing at this point i'm really not sure why it resurfaced but i seen that it was trending on tiktok so i wanted to bring it to you guys's attention it's honestly a video that i never seen never heard and like i said i do think it's pure comedy obviously these two have moved on with their lives and moved on in their careers and relationships and they're not worried about each other but like i said y'all can check out the full tiktok and its entirety on my instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section let's go ahead and move on to our girl lotto lotto decides to tell a story that happened when she got locked up at the airport now i believe this is like the second story that lotto has shared of her getting locked up now this started off with somebody else explaining how they got locked up at the airport and lotto decides to explain her story because fans were asking her to elaborate she said went to LAX with a loaded GUN 17 and my Burt got locked up and let out in a few hours laughing my A off booked a 75k jet to my show in Alabama and still made it on time no cap in my rap huh now this is not to be mistaken with the story that Lotto told us a couple of years ago back in 2020 when she got locked up she was getting mistaken with somebody else this is not to be mistaken with that story that's a whole nother lockup story there was so many people in the comment section that was thinking that she was talking about the story that she had told us about with her fader interview but she decided to clear that up after a fan asked her wasn't that the time you was telling that story in the interview about the female cop that kept trying to make you cough hard now lotto decides to clear that rumor up and she says now nah, that was in atlanta lol i was profiled for looking like some girl that robbed a dude i'm not no robber man jail is not for me by the way now, i wanted to report on this because i was kind of surprised to know that lotto didn't only get locked up once but now we know that she has gotten locked up twice but like she said in her twitter post jail is just not for her so hopefully she does not go back again but y'all can let me know what y'all think in the comments let's go ahead 
ahead and move on to a broader topic, which is going to be Chloe Bailey. Now, Chloe Bailey is completely trending right now for her intimate scene with Damson Idris on the new show that just came out, Swarm. Today is the debut of the show. Everybody tuned in, and everybody was surprised to see that in the beginning of the show, like the first click, you can see Chloe Bailey and Damson Idris getting down with the get down, if you guys know what I mean. Now, like I said, because people tuned in and seen this, of course, Chloe Bailey and Damson Idris, they started to trend on Twitter. A lot of people are saying that Damson Idris is so lucky that he got to mess with Chloe Bailey. And then a lot of people are saying, Chloe Bailey, she's packing. And some guys are saying that they're heartbroken that they seen Chloe Bailey the way that they seen her. Let's go ahead and get into some things that were broke on Twitter. One one person said that Chloe Bailey Arch looked official to me. That's all I'm going to say, child. Another person said this scene with Chloe is fire. Another person said watching Swarm in the first scene with Chloe Bailey is her getting her back blown out. Another person said Chloe Bailey on camera and Lori Harvey off camera. That dude is living my dream for real. Now, trust me, there was a lot more comments like that where that came from. A lot of people are saying that Damson Idris, he's so lucky because he's getting to allegedly mess with Chloe Bailey yeah. on camera but he gets to go home to Lori Harvey. Now, I've seen an interview, obviously, where Chloe Bailey said the scene, of course, of course, we all know this, is not real. They had a ball between them. It's just some really good acting that these two were doing. I don't know why people are acting like Chloe Bailey and Damson Idris are really doing something on camera. I mean, Fred O'Bang even said that he was very, very heartbroken. If you guys don't remember, a couple of months ago, Fred O'Bang was speaking out about how he had the the biggest crush on Chloe Bailey and now his heart is broken because he's seen Chloe Bailey on screen the way that he's seen her but it's nothing that serious like I said just some very good acting let's go ahead and move into our last topic which is going to be Black China or should I say Miss Angela now like I told you guys in my last video Black China has let it be known to social media that she's making some courageous strides to get some reductions in her breasts and her gluteus maximus she's deciding to get some of her fillers dissolved completely and she's becoming a different woman now like I said this is a great example for the ladies who want to get stuff done in their early 20s and their earlier years who want to get their breasts a boutte done this is a prime example on why you should wait because sometimes you will regret it later on down the line and that's what black china is expressing to her fans and expressing to social media it's better to be natural now while a lot of people are here for it, a lot of people are supporting black china and her strides unfortunately her own mother told Tokyo Tony, she doesn't even seem like she is here for it. Tokyo Tony decided to speak out um, in a video and she decided to mock her own daughter, Black China, basically making like, you know, everybody sounds crazy and weird saying that they support Black China on her new strides to become natural. Now, like a lot of people are posting on social media with a mother like this, who needs enemies? Now, I'm not the one to talk on anyone's mother, but obviously the way that Tokyo Tony talks about her own daughter, Black China. You know what I'm saying? There, there's something wrong with the situation. But if you guys don't believe it from me, let's go ahead and get into some of these comments that was left. One person says, this is a prime example on why cutting off family members is sometimes a necessity as well. Another person says, who child with a mom like this? Who needs enemies? Another person said, if you have ever judged China in the past, look at what birthed her. China is still standing. She's grown and she's done pretty good for herself despite the family issues this woman tears her down weekly online i can only imagine what she says offline now i do agree i can only imagine how tokyo tony has been treating her daughter black china all this time seeing as she's always saying something against her she is always bashing her now yes she will have her rare moments where she stands up for black china for the most part she's always bashing her own daughter not really sure what happened but between the two before Black China became famous, but I really hope that they can repair their relationship and that Tokyo Tony can.
can put aside whatever she's feeling to be there for her daughter while her daughter is trying to become a better woman. Like I said, it makes me sad to see that her own mother is going online and bashing her and it's almost like her worst enemy. That's, you know, it's a little weird to me. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Once again, my lovely TTs, thank you for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two A's at the end. And like I always say, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed rest of your night.